EA Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this Halloween matchup. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Cleveland Browns, and it's all up next. Well, the dog pound will be barking as EA Sports is pleased to join you from the always raucous Cleveland Brown Stadium in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. the kicker that's Cameron Dicker set to get us started and off we go from Cleveland and up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25 so here come the Browns for their first drive on offense they'll be led out by their six foot four quarterback the former number one overall pick in 2015 Jameis Winston and we're talking about one of the league's true extroverts in the quarterback position for better or worse, he's going to throw the ball all over the field. And that aggressive approach is one of the main reasons why they went after him in free agency. First carry for Nick Chubb. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Winston. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. They've got second and 12 from the 36. Now Winston. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. Back-to-back two-yard losses, and that sets up a tough third and 14. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Throw left side, caught by the tight end to Joku. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive is its fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, Corey Bajorquez gets set to punt for Cleveland. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. The Chargers coming out to take over, and it is Justin Herbert at quarterback CD, now in his fifth NFL campaign. And he's looking to bounce back after an injury-riddled season a year ago. Herbert, obviously one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league, but that doesn't do you any good when you're standing on the sidelines wearing a baseball cap. If this team's ever going to reach their full potential, they've got to find a way to keep him upright. And with his new head coach, Jim Harbaugh, in the fold, they'll do exactly that. They'll have a chance to win a lot of games with Justin Herbert on the field. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. Here's second and ten.
Herbert off of play action. Now a deep one for Johnston. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Now it's Herbert. That ball caught by the rookie from Georgia. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a good job there of knuckling down as an offense. You're trying to avoid three and out at all costs. And after two straight incompletions, this one's on target, and they're able to keep the chains moving. Here's Herbert. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. A collegiate star here in the Buckeyes State. It's J.K. Dobbins. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Now a second and ten. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. Herbert now. And this is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Here's Winston. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and ten. Now Chubb running right. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. 
They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he is not going to get the first down as he'll spot this at about the 28. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call. And they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. That one completes a McConkey. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Short completion, just four yards, and now two yards to go on third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 13 and a charger first. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Short throw underneath to Hurst. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second down and six now. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Herbert. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Play action. It's Herbert. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Palmer. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Five yards, now it's third and five. Out of the gun, Herbert. And a loose football! And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. 
is a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. From the gun, Herbert on third down. Touchdown! Josh Palmer, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. That's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play, and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And the Chargers grab the 7 0 lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Josh Palmer. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Browns set and ready to go on offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Second and seven. Moore, the man in motion. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And defensively, they had an extra defensive back on the field, their nickel package, and it made a difference. All the receivers were blanketed, so he tried to run for it, but he came up just a bit short. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and ten.
Here's Herbert. Throw left side taken in by Palmer. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. A shotgun snap and a give to Dalvins. 50 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. That's complete to Palmer. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. His throw incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Short throw underneath to Hurst. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll show the defense. And the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. They snap it to Herbert. And he gives himself up, but not before he gets the conversion. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent game. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Dobbins running out of the gun. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. This offense so far on third down, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and four. And that is incomplete. That breakup by Jeremiah Owusu koromoa Ah. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on.
Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled, haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Jameis to throw it. That's to the former Bronco, Jerry Judy. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and they'll be left with second and a couple. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. A give running right is Chubb. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. They run again on first down. Chubb trying to run inside, but nothing there. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Working out of the gun, Winston. Being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Winston drops it off for Chubb. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. From the gun, Winston. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 20-yard line. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. From the shotgun, it's Winston. That's going to be caught by Judy. And the Browns are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. They'll run with Chubb. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Second and goal from inside the five. Now Winston. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer. But he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Third and goal. Winston. 
And he'll take it into the end zone for Brown's touchdown. Jameis Winston taking it in from four yards out. And the Browns have cut it back within a score. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. J.K. Dobbins leading the way as the offense returns to the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Here's Herbert. Fighting to stay upright. He's going to loft one deep left side here. This is caught inside the 15. And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. A big play there for L.A. 61 yards. He's already got one touchdown this first half already. That very nearly was a second. Defensively, they're going to have to figure something out because he's been able to outrun the defenders early and often so far. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Here's a give to Dobbins. Gets past him at the 10. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He wanted that end zone. Powerful running, but he couldn't quite get there. And that's going to really make him upset. And right now, there's no way he's letting a coach take him out of the game. He's going to want the ball again, so he actually does get into the end zone, hopefully on his next carry. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him two yards, that sets him up first and goal. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. The play fake, and now Herbert to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. In motion right is Johnston. Herbert takes it and just pops it forward. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Quentin Johnston from three yards out. And the Chargers add six to their lead. Just a great individual effort there to take that pop pass and scamper off into the end zone. And that's why offenses love that play partner because that gives them a chance to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers with a full head of steam behind them. It's often like a track relay. Legs two, three, and four. That first guy steaming ahead, and he just hands it to you, and you get a chance to take off and go before you even get the baton. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. 
That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Winston now. Into the hands of Cedric Tillman. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Now Winston. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's good for a Cleveland first down at 11-yard pickup. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time and a first down. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing, Winston. That pass complete to Moore. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 34 yard line. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Winston. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. They'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. Pull it a gain of three on the play, and it brings up third and five now. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Running for it. Here's Chubb. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. Nick Chubb stops short. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20.
Justin Herbert looking to pass. To the right side and complete to Hurst. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Herbert now. He gets it to Johnston. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Herbert. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Here's Herbert trying to lay one up deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. Now it's Herbert. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and the lead will hold at 10. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. The Cleveland offense ready to go. One second, all that remains. Final play of the half here, Winston. This one downfield for Tillman. And that is incomplete. So we are at halftime here on Halloween. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side to play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A 10-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Chargers offense and Justin Herbert getting set for this next drive. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out.
The Charger drive about to get going. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now a handoff for Dobbins. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And Dobbins, he is not going to get there. They stop him short of the line to gain. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. From this vantage point, they've got the lead here. So for me, that'd be enough to go ahead and punt the football and let my defense defend the long field. If you go for it, you don't get it. Then you really put your defense in a tight spot. Yeah, but we never know what people ultimately will decide to do here on fourth and inches. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here's more on the return. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. And the Browns will take over first and 10. this they'll try the option left side and he'll take this one up close to the 25 yard line only a yard on the keeper and it'll be second down typically on the read option play when we talk about responsibilities we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through how about the inside linebacker though his job on this play shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain did it to perfection here's Winston Dumps this to his running back, Chubb. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Winston. He's going to look deep for more. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Chargers offense and their wide receiver getting set for this next possession. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open throughout. The Charger drive about to get going. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. From the 29, here's the second and four. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 76 yards on the ground here for Dobbins, and a first down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. 
Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Another run here with Dobbins. He'll get it up near midfield at a 49 before being taken down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From just shy of midfield, here's second and six. Well, now they'll try the end around. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a gain that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. Now Dalvitz. Pass the 20. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 36 yards on the play. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage, because once he gets through, he's shredding them. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. The sack coming from big Dalvin Tomlinson. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. So they're coming up here on the ninth play of the drive, and it's third and goal. Back to throw here, Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Hayden Hurst from 10 yards out, and the Chargers are able to stretch out their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion Felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Dicker down, attack on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. The 
And here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Jameis to throw it. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Two yards to go, second down. Now a give left side for Chubb. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carrier. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Give the pass break up there to Christian Fulton. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Charger drive about to get going. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Another big play right there, and this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 44-yard line. Jet sweep. This is Johnston. Oh, this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Miles Garrett, the all-pro defensive end there on the stop. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Back to throw now on second and 10. Right side, he has Johnston. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 27-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Dobbins trying the left side. Oh, and fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. 143 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Right back to Dobbins on first. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. 
A gain of three, second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? The ball on the eight still could get a first down technically, second and seven. They'll go again with Dobbins. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Operating from the gun. Herbert, and this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Lad McConkey from four yards out. And the Chargers will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football. All four touchdowns through the air, and that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Extra point try now from Dicker. And the lead is now 24. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Play fake, Winston. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Winston. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw is Winston. Out quickly to Judy. Five yards, now it's third and five. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Browns on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This will be third and five to throw Winston. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. 
Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Off the play fake. Winston. Under pressure, and they got to him again. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Looking for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll start with a handoff to Dobbins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 171 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. On this day, the ground has been his. But at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one. And that's a win for them. But all game long, he's seen the holes. And they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger. And he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. 
They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Now they're going option play on third down. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here, because he appears to be shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, 31 yards. And the Chargers have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we haven't been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Browns offense heading back out to take possession. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Browns drive about to get started. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they try to go for it on fourth. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Chargers getting set to go. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. 
Now Winston. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To the air again with Winston. He's gotten a Joku over the middle. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. The offense on third down, a pretty anemic, a very anemic one for nine thus far. Here it's third and two. Throwing, Winston. Pass is tipped, but he's still able to bring it in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Here's Winston. Over the middle, complete to Judy. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. And Chubble trying the middle here. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That play gets them six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. They run it again with Chubb. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. If you're going to keep these guys out of the end zone, you've got to be able to commit to stopping the run. And that's a nice job there, getting the safeties involved in run support. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now Winston drops it off for Chubb. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Third and goal, Winston. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think here the score dictates you pretty much got to go for it. But when you look at the scoreboard and you realize that three doesn't do you a whole lot of good in this situation, you're exactly right. Dial up one of your better plays and get after it. Forget the field goal kicker. He doesn't matter. Desperation time. Winston on fourth down. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed, I did, my good man. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead is down to 24. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown.
So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And the linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu koromoa on the tackle. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he's going to be met at about the 43. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. They'll run, it's Dobbins. And he's gonna be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Cleveland offense making their way out. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Another incomplete pass there. We, we've seen a bevy of those. This secondary, they've been pretty good, haven't they? They certainly have. They've allowed the one touchdown through the air, and they're going to be upset about that later when they watch the game tape. But other than that, they've been absolutely rock solid. Out of his end zone, Winston. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. But based on the last two play calls we just witnessed, the word conservative is not in their playbook. Incomplete, and then they decide to throw deep from this point on the field? That's a team that's really getting after it. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Back to throw now in his own end zone. And that one drops to the ground, incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds, 19 left. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. A 45-yard punt, four there on the return. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10, right at the 50-yard line.
A give. Dobbins trying the right side. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, this was a really nice display, Charles, of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete performance. And so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute, both sides of the ball. You go back in the locker room and you just savor it, right? Because that's what football's all about. A true team game, and they got it done in this one. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Cleveland.